Today I'm going to talk a little bit about scaling your photo business, but I don't mean astronomical out there let's have 20 booths, I'm talking about you currently have just purchased your first booth or you already own a booth and you've got a trickle of events coming up, but what do I do now? It's really easy in our industry to get caught by shiny things, shiny new things, and I'm one of those people, I hope my hands up. But your first booth supplier releases a new booth and everyone's talking about getting it and automatically you think, I need, I need, I need. You don't need, you want. And you have to remind yourself, it's not a need, it's a want. You need it if you have bookings for it. So what I'm gonna talk through today is book before you buy. This is a concept that we use to scale our photo booth business and it's very simple. Instead of just going and buying more booths and buying more booths, what we did was we took the booth that we started our business with, we sold it out for an entire wedding season, and when that season started, we started to promote a new booth that wasn't gonna be available until fall of that year. So while we were at all of those weddings throughout that period, we were able to tell people, oh yeah, we have this and we have something new coming for fall of that year. In essence, what you're doing is you're growing the business in a sustainable manner. So you've got one booth, you're taking your bookings, all of your deposits are coming in, and I cannot recommend enough to everybody in this industry, deposits should be used as cash flow within your business. Do not spend them, do not touch them, leave them there as a little pot for cash flow and reinvestment into the business. And that's where costing will come in, which I'm gonna talk about in my next video. But what we're talking about is the scalability. So the booth is out, your deposits have come in, you've started to put a little bit of cash flow away to the side for reinvestment, and you've seen a product you love. First of all, do your research on that new product. Do the research into what software you're gonna use. Can you use the current software that you have so that you're not gonna be out extra expenses? Is there a need for it in your market? Or can you create a need for it? What's the USP? Why do you need it, not want it? So make sure that you look around, make sure that no one else has it, or that you can do something different with it and really position that so that you can sell it in advance of actually owning the product. What we did was we basically used to market a product for six months before we bought it. We used to take double and triple bookings for products until we had enough money in the bank to buy those products. To the point that we were phoning one of our manufacturers on a Thursday, needing a new booth for a wedding on a Saturday. I do not recommend this to anyone. It was very stressful. <laughs> but in an ideal world, that's how we scaled our business. We basically promoted and marketed products that we didn't own until such times that we had enough money or took a booking to book them. The other thing we do is within our website, we put products on our website that we don't own and we market to people so that if we get a big enough job for it, I'm talking about large corporate items that maybe cost 20 or $30,000 to buy, but not very many people in our area would even think to have one or to use one. And we kind of use that as a marketing tool. So someone will come in and say, oh, I really want to book your spray wall. And we'll go, oh, well, actually, it's booked on that day or it's not suitable for your venue, but here's something else I can do for you. So think about the marketing tricks that you can do as well. Or if someone comes in and says, I want to book that spray wall. I've got 50 grand. You go, happy days. And you go and you buy one. Or you sub hire it from someone else. There's always options. And what I say to anyone is, Always take the business and then work out how you're going to do it. But to scale and be profitable, make sure you're setting aside those deposits, make sure that you already have your eye and you've done your research on what your next product is going to be to scale the booth so that you can do two bookings in one night and then buy those products.